Hello family, this is Refueling Your Faith, and today we're going to be talking about being the bigger person, Colossians 3, 23 through 25, and it reads, whatever you do, do your work heartily as for the Lord rather than for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. It is the Lord Christ whom you serve, for he who does wrong will receive the consequences of the wrong which he has done and that without partiality. Whatever you do, verse 23, do your work heartily as for the Lord rather than for men. Work as unto the Lord. And I've always seen this verse in relation to the work that I've done for an employer, the work that I do for a volunteer organization or for the church. Work as unto the Lord, not in response to how other people work, but work as unto the Lord. And many years ago, the Lord brought this verse to me when I was in disagreement with my husband. We weren't agreeing. We were on the same page. And so in response to that, I wasn't going to provide him with dinner. It was dinner time and I was going to make dinner for myself, but he'd have to figure it out. That's the, that's the space I was in in that moment. And in that moment, the Lord just says, cook as unto me work as unto me. Of course, I was shocked that that thought would come into my brain and it had to be God who placed it there. And so as I was getting my uh, the meal together, I just kept saying, work as unto the Lord, cook as unto the Lord, make this meal as unto the Lord. And so the verse began to minister to me, not only beyond that day, but also beyond in other uh, circumstances and other relationships to do that work, do the loving as unto the Lord, not to reciprocate, but to do it as unto the Lord. So I saw it beyond just working for a church or working at my employer, but working in relationships. And actually, Paul brings this statement up when he's talking about relationships. If you look earlier in the verse, it talks about family relations. Verse 18, wives be subject to your husbands. Husbands love your wives. Children be obedient to your parents. Fathers do not exacerbate your children. Slaves um, uh, follow your masters. Uh, and then later it says, masters, grant your slaves justice and fairness. So he brings this verse up in relationships uh, when he talks about relationships. And so that's what he's telling us today. In all of our relationships, you be the bigger person. As Michelle Obama says, you, when they go low, you go high. You continue to do what it is that God has called you to do or the character characteristics that he has for you to display in the world. Earlier in chapter three, he talks about how we constantly put off anger and wrath, malice and slander and abusive speech, but to put on uh, humility, kindness, gentleness, patience, bearing with one another, forgiving each other. This can be difficult because our flesh wants us to reciprocate what people are doing to us. When people are rude, we want to be rude. When people are kind, then we want to be kind. But the reality is, an illustration that someone, uh, a pastor had given, is that we're always to be the thermostat, not the thermometer. We set the temperature in any environment which we find ourselves in. We do not mirror that as a thermos, as a thermo, thermometer does, we are the thermostat. And so it can be difficult because we want to get somebody back. We want to pay them back. But there are so many scriptures that speak to the fact that God sees and he will act on our behalf. If Charles Stanley says, you obey God and allow him to deal with the consequence, consequences. There are some scriptures that I want to bring to you to encourage you to be the bigger person in every relationship that you find yourself in. Romans 14 and 12, we're to work as unto the Lord, not for men, because Romans 14, 12 reminds us, each one shall give account of himself to God. Each one of us will have to give an account. So that person who you feel is being unkind, they will have to give an account to God for their behavior. And if you choose to respond in a way that does not honor God, guess what? You will have to give an account for your behavior um, before God. And so I want to hear well done, good and faithful service. Although there can be some small satisfaction from returning evil for evil, 
the reality is God is not pleased and we will have to give an account for our behavior. Also, in relationships, so many as I was doing this study realized how God encourages us in our relationships with others. Romans 12, 18 through 19 says, if possible, as far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay. This is relationship. So continue to be the bigger person. You be the thermostat and not the thermometer. And I know sometimes it gets weary. <laughs> Why do I always have to forgive? Why do I always have to enter into conversation that brings peace? Why do I always have to do the right thing when so many around do the wrong thing? And you can get weary in doing it. Guess what? Paul speaks to us again, inspired by God to encourage us. The scripture says in Galatians 6, let's go there, Galatians 6 and 9, do not grow weary in well-doing. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, this he will reap. For the one who sows, uh, the one who sows his own flesh shall from the flesh reap corruption. But the one who sows to the spirit shall from the spirit reap eternal life. And let not, let us not lose heart in doing good. For in due time we shall reap if we do not grow weary. So then, while we have opportunity, let us do good to all men, especially to those who are of the household of faith. If you are not encouraged today, continue to be the bigger person. Continue to put on kindness and gentleness when others are living in malice and slander. Uh, continue to set the tone and be the uh, change agent in whatever situation that you find yourself in. I encourage you. I pray this has been a blessing to you. Like this post if this has been an encouragement, just to let me know that you heard and that you like it. Share this post so that someone else in your circle can be encouraged to be the bigger person and know that they are be seen. They are seen by God. I pray that if you have um, any prayer requests, that you would leave that below. If you need additional inspirational videos or blog content, you can go to my website, www.clministries.com. We'll see you next Wednesday. God bless.